Okay, today we have one of my absolute favorite repairs to do, which is an A1466 with no green light on the charger and no power. Obviously, it's liquid damage, the keys are very sticky, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we find. Alright, bottom case is off, and we see we have a little bit of liquid up here, but it's nothing too serious. Like, usually these are all corroded. There's really no corrosion here, it's just liquid, so we're going to go ahead and take out the board and see what's lurking on the other side. Because most likely we have an issue either around our ISL area or maybe around our SMC, and that's why we have no green light. So let's go ahead and do that now, and let's take a look. Okay, the logic port is out, and you can see that this whole side of it is just completely all sticky and gross. So let's go ahead and take a look under the microscope and see what, what's actually affected by liquid on the board. Okay, we're under the microscope, and we can see a lot of fairly important areas are affected by this. So we have our clock area that has a quite a bit amount of liquid on it. Now, this isn't really corroded, but it's still it's not going to be good there. Our SMC area is really corroded now. Again, I said the SMC is probably the cause of this because we have no green light on the charger. Um, our ISL does not look too happy either. Looks pretty messed up. This is one of the very rare cases where I will say go ahead and ultrasonic the board before working on it because this is just so extensive when we, and we want it to be nice and clean when we look at it to see what actually needs to be replaced because when you get liquid that isn't like corroded and it's just sticky like this, a lot of the stuff will be fine, like a lot of it won't be affected, so we really need to clean this to see what needs to be done um, and what actually is bad. So for example, like, okay, if we see a capacitor that's like purple like this, okay, it's probably not good. But we can't really tell when everything is coated with this, we can't really tell what's actually bad and what can stay. So we're going to go ahead and give this a um, short ultrasonic bath and then we'll come back to it and see what actually needs to be done on it. Okay, and I guess this is really demonstrates the power of a good ultrasonic cleaner because here's our board outside of the ultrasonic or after the ultrasonic and this is pretty much spotless. We have some issues that we need to address like that sensor chip but for most part the corrosion and liquid and nastiness is all cleaned up. So here's our SMC area. We know we have some issues here. Um, like we have a broken trace right there. Looks like another broken trace right here. So if you look right here this doesn't look right. So there's probably an issue right there. There's definitely an issue there. These caps are all falling apart, need to go. Um, but otherwise, this looks pretty good. Um, this cap is done for. And just some general stuff, like right here too. I can't leave that on here. These guys got to go. Um, same thing here. BIOS area looks okay. Could use a little flux and heat. Clock chip looks okay. There's no real corrosion, so that'll be good with a, fl a good flux and heat. Um, just some just some caps here and there, and this should be good to go. Um, the SMC, as far as um, as far as the no green light, there's going to be junk under here. Just because we ultrasonic it, there's going to be junk under there. So we're going to perform a reflow of the chip um, just to clear out any junk that's underneath, and that'll be good to go. So yeah, this just looks like general um, touch-ups now and putting a few components back. Um, that sensor chip needs to be addressed, and this looks. This looks very good. Very, uh, very good. This is looks a lot better than I thought it would out of the ultrasonic. So let's go ahead and get started on those uh, component replacements here and there, and we'll see what we get.
Okay, let's see if we get what we've all been waiting for. So we're going to plug in our charger, and we're going to wait for this fan to spin. And what do you know? The fan spins. We're going to go ahead and give this another ultrasonic, because if we look at the board, it looks like this. So here's our board. Yeah, we don't want to give this back to the customer like that. You can't see it. This is all flux. So yeah, that's all flux. So that's not ideal. Please don't put a board like this back in the enclosure and give it to your customer. Please clean it. It's not good. Um, flux over time. So no, this is an argument that I've had with people. They say it's a no clean flux. Well, yes, it's technically no clean. It's a low activity flux. But over time, what's going to happen is the flux is going to attract a little bit of moisture. That moisture is going to build up and you will get corrosion. Any high voltage circuits like backlight or anything, you cannot leave flux on it because it will actually start to oxidize the circuit. So just clean your flux. Don't leave it on there. It's not good. Okay, I always like to show these after we're done with the repair that they work. So here is laptop. We're going to hit the power button. We're going to see it's going to turn on and in addition. We have a light on the charger. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a light on the charger. And this works. This is booting, so this is good to go.